Now, the next story, the next life we're about to talk to is a young woman who is going to be the best women's golfer in the world. I'm guaranteeing that to you today because already at the age of 16, she is the number one ranked senior player in South Africa and she's the number one ranked junior player in South Africa. It's Kajal Mystery. Kajal, welcome to Sport 10. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing great. It's nice to be you here. You are doing great. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe that you're playing against women who are like 30, 40 years of age, playing the game for all their lives, and you're already killing them, beating them week in and week out. <laughs> it's different these days. I think a lot of juniors are playing the game. Um, so you kind of know everyone that you're playing against week in, week out. So it's fun. But are you even beating the seniors? You're on the senior <laughs> tour as well. I th it's hard work. A lot of hard work. Lots when did of you hours. start? Started when I was three years old. Three. I can't really remember, but I was told. So what's three. the story when they tell it to you? That my mom and my dad used to take me for golf lessons with my current coach, Darren Witter. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm still with him after 16 years. And from that point onwards, you just had the golf bug? Yeah, um, oh, I got it from my brother because he actually had the, the drive for it. And he used to drag me along. So I used to, okay, my brother's going to practice. So I might as well do it. And then I practiced more than him and I got better than him, so. I mean, for any of you out there who are golfers, okay, and I know there are plenty of you out there, your best score ever, let's just shock South Africans, what is your lowest round ever? Eight under. 64? Yeah. 64? Yeah. You shot 64 on a full, it's not like a mashy golf course, no. right? Like a full on golf course. Yeah. I can't even, I play golf. I'm a nine handicap and the best I've ever shot is like 76. So don't laugh. You see, this is what happens. This is what happens when you say that to real golfers, women by a clan, I might be, ah, 76, that's ridiculous. That for me is like as good as it gets. But what does it take to get to your level? It, it takes hard work, sacrifice, um, especially with schoolwork and golf. It takes hard work and determination just to get everything done and to put your best foot forward into So what's it. your typical day? Typical day is obviously school in the morning. Um, after school, maybe go home and eat and then quickly go off to the golf course, have a lesson, practice, come back, and then it's homework and studying until late hours of the night, sleep and then repeat. How long, pra how long do you practice? Um, I really don't practice as much as I should just because of schoolwork and that, but on an average, like today, I went, I must have practiced there for two, no, two hours. And the other thing is, you also, correct me if I'm wrong, the eighth best junior women's golfer in the world? No. No? <laughs> I played a tournament in Japan. It was the World Cup, right? Yeah. So you came eighth? I came eighth, yeah. So that makes you number eight. <laughs> I mean, let's not worry about the rankings. For me, that makes you number eight. You came eighth at the uh, World Juniors. In Japan, how was that tournament for you? It was the best experience of my life. Um, just to play golf overseas and to see how other people play, to compare yourself to them, how at their level, where you should be, it was incredible. And I went with two of my best friends, which was a cherry on top. But you're not far behind, right? Eighth? Eighth. Was that what you were hoping to be? Were you hoping to be top ten? Was yeah, that... That, was the, that was my goal, just because it was my first time there. Um, I've never played a tournament like that before. I'm very grateful to Women's Golf South Africa for giving me the opportunity to go over there. What's different playing at that level to where you've been playing before that? Before, I just used to play the local tournaments like I do now. Mm -hmm. It's almost every two weeks that you're traveling to Cape Town or Stellenbosch, or everywhere around the country you go. Um, so the difference is the kind of the field. You, I know everyone in South Africa. It's very nice when you play with everyone, you know who they are. Uh -huh. You, you start know the weaknesses, you know I can drop this one, this no. one. <laughs> eh? There's no weaknesses. Um, everyone has a weakness and a strength, so I think you should see ev everyone as equal. But um, I you know everyone here. You, you know who they are. You just carry on the conversation, but when you're over there, you learn more. I learned a lot from other people, uh -huh. especially meeting new people from different countries. What's the dream? The dream. <laughs> the dream is to go after, finish high school and go study in America, play American golf college and then hopefully play on the LPGA tour for a living. So golf is just going to be your thing? You're going to yeah. earn a living from playing golf? I hope that's the dream. And it is a good living, right? I'm 
I'm not sure. I don't look at the stats a lot, but it, I think if but you, you put the I hard mean, work I'm sure in. you're aware of prize money, women's tournaments around the world. Yeah. Once you're playing at that level, the prize money is a lot. It is. It's not something that I really focus at. I think I'm there for the fun of and the love of the game. Uh -huh. More than Which is great at age 16. You're number one in the country, junior, number one in the country, uh, senior, playing it for fun and with the plan to go to the U.S. and one day take it onto the, the uh, main tour for women. Who have you met? Have you met any of the great golfers out there? I was fortunate enough to play in the Sunshine Lady Tour events um, this year, early in the year, and that's when the amateurs play with the pros. Um, I played with Bertine Strauss, who's currently also playing in America. Uh -huh. And it's just really nice to talk to them because they've been at the same level you've been at right now. And you want to be where they are. And when you look at, for instance, say the men's game, are there, is there anyone out there that you think, like you, that you idolize? A golfer that you, you watch week in and week out and you think, she's yeah. that guy's awesome? Uh, Hendrik Stenson and Jordan Spieth. Um, I can't pick between the two. It's uh -huh. just a thing. But um, Jordan, I mean, what happened to him? <laughs> he sensational and then disappeared for a year. Was it just too great a year that he had, he just had to take a break? Uh, I think it happens in golf. It's a, you have to, it's a sport where to win, you have to be at your, your best every single week. And I, I think it's not impossible to not be at your best. But he's come back and I think his putting is, what's it like, what I love about him. Which actually brings me to you, because what's the strength of your game? <laughs> I, don't th I, don't, I really don't think I have one. I think it's just, everything coming together at once, which is putting the results on the scoreboard. Do you pat like Jordan? Do you, look at the, <laughs> do you only look at the hole? You just, no, I look at yeah. the ground. You look at the ground? Yeah. But he's doing it slightly differently. He looks at the hole and then just throws it in. Yeah, I think everyone has a different way. But that's crazy, right? Yeah. I've tried that looking at the whole thing. That it doesn't thing, work. It doesn't work, right? No. How come it works for him? Because he's Jordan Spieth, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and how much support do you get? in terms of in South Africa to eventually pursue the dream? Are, there, are we behind you as a country? De uh, 110%. Um, most of the support are from South Africans because that's who I know. It's our provincial um, support, which my province is Ladies Golf Gauteng. Uh -huh. Get a lot of support for them. From Women's Golf South Africa, an immense support. Like tomorrow I'm going to a training camp that they have organized. And things like that help us towards our dreams and of my family, my main support. It's Women's Month and I've got to tell you I'm inspired. I'm <laughs> truly inspired by the fact that at age 16, you are doing such incredible things already. It, it blows my mind. And I want to know, where does that come from? Where does that, where does that drive come from? That it's, dedication? It, my parents, can't, there's nothing less. Um, they've pushed me to be the best I can and I can't thank them enough for that. I mean, rain or shine, they're out there on the course with you? Yeah. I saw your dad outside. Wake up in the morning, come back late, and they're there, they're there with me. And it's often said that golf is almost 90% psychological. Once you can do, you can play, you can hit the good, you can patch, you can do all those things. How much do they help you psychologically when the pressure's on? I think with pressure, you've got to deal, like once you get into that situation, you have to to deal with it head on. Um, I th you, you shake, you know, like your nerves, you sh your hands shake. Uh -huh. It's not the easiest. Um, but I think it's once you've been in that situation, you kind of get used to it. And I like, I like pressure now. It kind of gets me motivated to, be, to do even better. I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> How many people can say they like pressure at the age of 16? Here she is, South Africa's number one when it comes to a junior as well as senior golfer. It's a Kajal Mystery, age 16, Shampoonizer. You will never, ever get to the level of golf that she's playing. Never, ever. In your whole life, you can start now until you're 90. It's not going to happen. Who says I want to play golf, Thomas? I'm just please. saying. Ah, don't be forward. I'm here with a woman here. It's Women's Month. Can you please tell us one of your Women's Month songs? Sing. I'm a sing now. Back to you, Thomas. 